o'clock. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Well, good morning. Oh, Brownie, hush. This is my buddy, Adrian from... I thought you were introducing Brownie. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> from Tales of an Educated Debbie Talk. She has a Facebook page and... She's a big deal in our area, and I am honored to have her come here today. <laughs> and she's got a can of cinnamon rolls in the kitchen. <laughs> I just, she did. I'm ask giving me. away all her secrets. Yes. She's trying to pretend she's a no, baker. That's right. Now look, you, we got to get this straight right off the bat. <laughs> you can't tell all my secrets. Okay? I tell there are no secrets on my page. You would like them. That's, she's very. Um, this open. YouTube thing. So all these people are from YouTube. Yes, they are. I have. Best yet, Journey is my buddy. Homestead my, in the hood. I need my homestead in the hood. Yes, that is so good. They have awesome names here. Uh, Diane Hurt is here from Facebook. Tiny Tim Posey. Hey, Tiny Tim. <laughs> and Deborah Bird Weaver is here from Facebook. Oh, Tiny Tim Posey. Yeah. I mean, that's a good name. It is a good name. His name is hello, Tiny Tim. Brownie. Yes, Brownie's coming to say hello. Got some coffee. I did make a fresh pot of coffee, and just so you know, uh, our county water was a, a little tainted lately. It's a little sandy. No, no, that's from a bottle, so, <laughs> so I don't want to poison her right off the bat, but a little sandy? Yeah, it's brown, and um, so we are drinking out of bottled water currently. We're real fancy. Which means be prepared, you know. You always have to be prepared. Now, if you want to, uh, because it is hard to read the chat over here. Y'all, I have you so far away because, let me show you where we are. I have the fire table. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't let her turn off the fur. Yeah, so we didn't turn the fire table off. And that way. I um, like being back here. I look thin. Isn't it nicer? I have to suck in my gut, though. I know. I'm really liking that shirt. Don't you like it? Yeah. it it's on Teesprings. Um, or Spring now, they call it. Oh, it's is that like a T-shirt? Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's something that you could do because Adrian has shirts and hats. In fact, I, well, mm -hmm. I took her hat inside. But um, Teespring is a company that attached directly to your channel. So you don't have to have, you don't have to mail anything you don't that's have what to I do with Bonfire. But oh, I'd Bonfire, use yeah. Teespring, that's good. Bonfire Never turn off better. the fur. See, I told you. Never turn off the fur. <laughs> tiny Tim Posey is a friend of mine here on YouTube, and he is not tiny. He's not? No. He's a tall man, six something, uh -huh. six, seven, six, eight, and uh, rides a motorcycle. Mm. So he Come is... on, ride down here, Tiny. <laughs> Off my phone. Isn't it a treat to have Adrian here? Now, if you would share a little bit about your uh, page and what you do and how you talk and what you talk about. I, I described us yesterday on Tuesday, Tuesday. Uh -huh. I described Tuesday, us as um, sweet and spicy. Mm -hmm. So I was telling my husband this morning, I said... Um, today's my 20th wedding anniversary. Oh, happy anniversary. I knew that. I forgive you. <laughs> I'm sorry. And um, I was like thinking, what in the devil am I going to give him for his anniversary? He gave me money to use at the Arts Council. And right. I, I got a painting. Well, you know, he wants like something like a car. Yeah. <laughs> we have people going to college. We're not getting any cars. Right. Because I got the car. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we can only get so many cars. That's right. But anyway, I said... Um, I'm going out to Ann Dale's house this morning. She does a blog. And he said, yeah, I knew that. I said, well, I don't know how you knew that. And, um, but I said, we had the best time together. We met on Monday and we had so much fun. And I was like, we're like opposites, but sort of similar. Yes. Opposites, but the same. You know, like she sounds nice and I'm giving people the finger, but I am nice. <laughs> she is nice. She really is nice. Now, I do want to share, please don't give people the finger on here today. Um, <laughs> well, I only give you the finger if you're like a terrible bot. Yeah. And that's you want right. me to send you your cash app. That's, yes, right. That's see? right. Hey, Broke, Broke Farmer's on here. I'm glad to see you. This is my buddy, Adrian, from Tales of an Educated Debutante on Facebook. 
she has been very generous to come out here and visit with me today. And so you were talking with your husband. So I, and so I told my husband, I was like, you know, it's so fun because there's nobody around here that um, maybe you and I are doing this. Right. And you, it's more fun to do things with other people. And I have friends that blog like you do from yeah. around the country. Sure. But you don't get to get together. Right. And do yeah. something. Now we'll do videos and stuff together. But, sure. um, but it's more fun. And it's just nice to support each other in the same Absolutely. career. So when I started out seven years ago and I, um, there was this writer that I really admired. Her name is Kara. 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 What was her last name? Well, anyway, I messaged her and said, hey, I saw you something, something, something. And she was so helpful. She was like, let me give you my contact for whatever. Oh, awesome. And I said, why are you helping me? Right. And she said, you know, there's room in this world for all of us. That's right. And it really stuck with me that like, yeah, just because there's a book at the library doesn't mean there can't be lots of books. Right. That's you know, right. like we want lots of people. Yes. So anyway, that um, it's fun to have a chance to support each other. I told Anne, I was like, I've got new followers this week. So <laughs> Which is huge because she's a big deal on Facebook, y'all. She's a big no, deal. no, I don't know about YouTube. So this is good to me. Yes. So I do Facebook. All YouTube folks, if you guys will say hello to each other, Danny Day's Homestead, G Mama Grows. Liz Lovell. Hey, honey. All right. So, so I have four kids. Yeah. And I, um, it's tales of an educated debutante, a little tongue in cheek because debutantes, you know, they're supposed to keep everything to themselves <laughs> and not yes. tell stuff. And you just, everything is fine and perfect and wonderful. Right. But in my house, it's a shit show. <laughs> so we tell, we don't keep things secret around there. Right. And we have a little fella, with special needs, yes. three teenagers. It is crazy town. And um, so anyway, my, my page is like the backstory of life. There's not much gardening unless you count me buying celery and putting it on my porch and then killing it. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> you know, you were told on Monday, one of your followers told on you and said, you know, Adrian, your plants die when you pour wine on them. Well, no, that I didn't know that. <laughs> you didn't know that? I would have wine I hadn't finished, and I just would add it to the plants. <laughs> well, no, that, that's not a good Evidently, thing. that's a bad idea. Yeah, it's a bad idea. I'll share that with you. No, look, I'm a tales. Look, there's some, some of my tales people are yes, coming over are. here. Yes, they are. They are. It takes, it takes Facebook a minute. Uh, we have about 98 friends in here right now, which is awesome. And it does take, you can see the difference over here from Facebook. But it's fun walk, waking up to y'all this morning. That's what Claudia has to say. Adrian would have been back in the bed if she hadn't have been out here. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm going, <gasps> Adrian's coming to my house. I I, I, I need to clean. I, ne I, I, I need to clean. <laughs> Let's <be> clean. <laughs> and it's not. You got some dirt. And a fire. I do have some dirt and a fire. I um... and a can of cinnamon rolls popped <laughs> open, ready to go. Look, they think I'm this sweet Susie homemaker, and don't you ruin my image in just two seconds. Lies. Okay? No, it's not All lies. lies. No. Look, we're gonna do some stuff that she's never done before here. That is mostly homesteading and getting things right. So. The first thing I wanted to get out of the way, though, the one thing that not get out of the way that I wanted to deal with is uh, when we met on Monday uh -huh. at the coffee shop. Yes. You offered to your followers, anyone that would come and join my Facebook page of Andale Homestead would be put in a drawing. Yes. To win one of Uncle Wayne's stirrers. And um, this is hanging like, in my kitchen, FYI. Oh, good. Because when you were making your blueberry muffins, one of your people said it was in the car. Used? Oh, I thought I, that's I what I told. I said, I think that thing's in the car. <laughs> it takes a while to move stuff from the car to the house. Yes, that's right. <laughs> in my life. So they get to win one of these from Facebook. And uh, I had a number of people, it is actually several hundred of your friends came over and said hi, which is fabulous. Mm -hmm. They all want this stir. Yes, they do. It's not me. It's the stir that they yeah. want. Anyway, and uh, it, it really is. So I have 
a big bowl, I, everybody's name, that said Adrian's name. Anybody that said Adrian sent me, I love seeing you guys at the coffee shop, which, you know, we might do that on Mondays, right? We might yes, we're going to do that on Mondays. On Mondays, we're going to meet at the coffee shop. I'm going to have to be a human being. At Aunt's not used to. In the yeah, morning. this is new for her. It is new for me. See, I don't have school kids. Mm, bad so... times. Mondays, man. <laughs> man. When you're retired, you get to get up when you want. You can get up at six in the morning, or you can get up at noon. It doesn't really make a whole lot of difference. So I would get up at eight thirty mm -hmm. if I could. 8.30 would be a good time. 8.30 would be a good time. I have Mennonite Farmhouse. Leanne, that's Leanne. She's from Pennsylvania. She's a, a nice, wonderful chef. I love chef. these names. Ooh. Yes. Mennonite yeah. Farmhouse is the chef? She is. And she cans and cooks and does, she does it all. Now, I teased Leanne yesterday because we do have a lot of giveaways on YouTube. There's a ton of people that are having like celebration videos. And uh -huh. so we'll have the, it's a comment picker or a YouTube giveaway game. Right. And every single time Leanne goes in there and goes, oh no, Ann Dale's here. Nobody else is winning. And when she says that, I don't win. So I blamed it. She stole my mojo. And I blamed it on Leanne. <laughs> The other night, um, there was a live, the last chance cook-off final thing. And they were giving away, like, grills and crock pots. Really? And, I mean, really nice things. That could become, a, like, an addiction. Absolutely. I'm, I am addicted. Yes. Yeah. And um, I wasn't winning and wasn't winning. They had, like, 200 prizes. So how do you win? They just pick, they spin a wheel and pick your name. Oh, they're not just picking a name on the screen. No, uh -uh. no, not at See, all. See, what Adrian does is she has this thing of paper, and there's no <laughs> names on it. Oh. She just puts down. Well, there's real names on Well, those. so I used to do monthly giveaways early on when I was organized, and I had maybe a 1,000 subscribers on Facebook, and I would write the name. Well, once I had so many, I was like, how in the devil I'm going to spend all my whole life writing these names down? Oh, yeah. Well, it does. It takes. So a then we would do quiz questions. Oh, OK. So you would say, like, what does Anne put on her can of cinnamon <laughs> rolls? Yes. Right. Well, I did. And whoever I... answered first one. Well, then people fight because they're like, my answer was up there first. Yes. Yes. It's bad times. Yeah, it is bad times. They bad. do that. That's what reason why I stopped doing the first person that answered because yeah, they, they get fat. Well, it ended up that. People were being gracious and I would pick the second person and then the second person would say, I wasn't first. You need to give it to so-and-so. Oh, my people are not gracious. They are like. <laughs> <laughs> so I would end up sending out more prizes of the same thing. Now you got a smart ass on here. Black's Tropical Homestead said, wait, Adrian is not organized. I can't tell. Yeah, No, she says, I, yeah, I can't tell that you're organized. That's my soil sister, Black's Tropical Homestead that I, I adore. Sister. Yeah. She, she adores. Is, she adores. Yes. She, ad I adore her. She and I have met in person. They're in Savannah, Georgia. Oh. And she supports your channel too. My channel. I like the word channel. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's new, isn't it? It's well, not, that's, fake. that's that's YouTube. YouTube. Mm -hmm. What do you call your Facebook? My page. Your page. My channel sounds better. I like channel. I'm going to start calling it my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I could teach her something. Wouldn't that be cool? Mm -hmm. you, you have. Okay. <laughs> hey, so I get to pick you. a name and the name of one of my subscribers that's come over here to follow Ann is going to get this. Smacker racker. You see what Lee Jones lays. Your there. subscribers are cutthroat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They're evil. Now look, the dark side, y'all just stay over there. But um <laughs> should, should I pee? You no, know, don't look. Don't look. You can't look. I'm gonna be like, did you hear the story about the chess, the chess champion who they say has been cheating? He's <gasps> like the grandmaster. Oh, and they realized he was cheating, he would do these chess matches. And then chess.com, he would be open on another computer and it would tell him the moves to make. Oh, oh no. I mean, that's a good cheater. It is a good cheater, but gosh. Here we have. Okay. We've got one. Oh, maybe I should pick another one. <laughs> well, I only have one. Deb so. Stoner. I meant just a 
Kaufman. Deb Kaufman. I know who Deb Kaufman is. Deb Kaufman. So if Deb, now what do you do? Sometimes I only let them win if they're watching. That really makes people mad. Oh, gosh. No, no. Because well, we go promised it. I mean, I will another Tom, but I am expecting another shipment in of these. But this is my last one. So, so Deb Kaufman, I'll send her a message and we'll get her address. Oh, awesome. Well, okay. don't put her back in the pile. Because okay, we might forget. <clears throat> yes. Put her on the fur. No, don't put her on the fur. Um, and also, for the people that have wanted some of these pushers to buy, I'm going to put this in the link of the bio of this. Oh, good. But Uncle Wayne. I might share those on my page. That's kind of exciting. It is exciting. Well, Uncle so Wayne, on his tags that he had originally, he put his home address in his cell phone cover on there. Well, that's nice. Well, it's not because if it if they really become popular across the world, he might not want people driving up in his driveway. Well, no, there ain't nobody gonna show up in Littleton. No, they might, <laughs> they, they might, might call him. They might call him. Yes, you can get so, anybody's address on the internet. Yeah, you really can. I mean, we you all know people be being... like, "Why do you give your address?" I'm like, "Hello, have you met Google?" <laughs> right. That's the truth. I mean, honestly, we all think that we're hiding things and people don't shoot the front of their homes and all of that. And yeah, they can find you. But we like right now, I bet I could find Sarah's address if I looked it up. You probably so. <laughs> anyway, that's the email. Oh, it's, no, it's backwards for me. I bet it's forwards for you. Wayne's Crooked Spoons at embarkmail.com. Just email him if you would like one of these and there's not going to be he he makes a lot of different things but it's not going to be what else does he make well he makes spoons and he makes other spatulas and things like that but he's only going to offer just maybe one or two items to be able to sell. so i had these the these people outside of raleigh and they were called the sharp family has anybody ever heard of the sharp family and they made all things kind of christian stuff so they would make a a manger with hay in it and it was the good deed manger where you yeah they put, put the hay, hay in for baby and they day. would make car with baby jesus yeah and then they did um a big advent calendar but they went out of business a oh. nativity it was a heck of a business and they just got older and stopped oh okay well sharp thing uh, so maybe uncle wayne could well, uncle wayne says when i told him i said now uncle wayne there's people that are really starting to get, you know, they are, they want one. They want one. And he said, Ann, <clears throat> I'm an old fart. And oh. I, I only do, uh, you know, like. maybe six a month. And uh -oh. so, because it takes a long time, he does have to carve it and sand it. And now he how said, much does he sell them for? He sells them for, I think it's $22 and that's before shipping. Oh, so it's like twenty five dollars. You might need to raise the price a little bit. Yeah. Well, he has sold them before for like thirty five and forty dollars. So. Yeah, I would think thirty five would be reasonable. Really? Everything's high these days. A hamburger at Wendy's is nine dollars. I can't afford to eat at Wendy's anymore. I know. And I can't afford a salad. It's like eleven dollars. Yeah. You got to just get a head of lettuce. And they don't have the half salads anymore. Wendy's doesn't have the half salads. They only have the whole salad. No, who goes to Wendy's that. for a salad? No, don't give me another cinnamon roll. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. Talk to him just a second while I get some things. I'll tell you the rest of the story. <laughs> don't you tell them any secrets. <laughs> we both live in a tiny town. I know. We do live somewhere small. And you don't talk about stuff in your own town because, you know, you don't want everybody to hate you because they think people think you're going to start telling their secrets just because you tell your own. <laughs> No. Because they will. Anne's got a lot of dirt here. I do. I have some stuff. And water. And water. Yes. And this is rainwater. Let's, let's not catch this that. thing on fire. Yeah. We don't want to do that. Rainwater. You collect rainwater? I do collect rainwater. And, uh, well, we have buckets and things. It's no scientific thing. To, to water your plants. Mm hmm And is it because it's cheaper or because they like rainwater because better? Because they like rainwater better. Well, I knew that, but I didn't know if that's why you collect <laughs> <laughs> I've never collected rainwater, but I always see those big barrels for sale at like the state fair. It is better to have a rain catchment system yeah. 
because it comes off of your gutters, goes in a barrel, has a big screen on the top to stop uh -huh. all the trash from getting in there. Uh. That makes the rainwater get slimy if you have a bunch of trash in there. Oh. But um, we're not that fancy yet. Oh. And one day, one day I'll have a rain barrel. All right. So Adrian is not a gardener, but not maybe a gardener. I just might not know it. Yet. She hasn't been a gardener yet. And so what we're going to do is share with her. I garden. I just don't follow through. <laughs> she has gorgeous plants in her home and a beautiful yard. I've seen your yard. I have grass. Yes, but it's really, a lot of people don't have grass. And I have one tree. <laughs> yeah, but you should see, I mean, tell them, you live on the water with a pier and a boat lift and fun toys. But my, you know, my old house was built in 1760 and this man named Clarence Leary lived there and he was a master gardener. So he had beautiful beds set up. So I worked hard to maintain his, I always had something in bloom because he had gauged it. So you'd have your you know, irises come out, then your daffodils, then your azaleas, then Aww, your gardenias. Yes. I do miss that yard because it I was bet. really fun. Well, yeah, and somebody else could have it already set for you, which yeah. is fun. That's right. All right. Mm -hmm. So what I thought we would do, mm -hmm. I have some micrograin seeds. And these, they grow like super fast. Five days to harvest. Harvest, like you eat it? Like eat it. But they only grow like this big. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Good. And so we're going to put some dirt in here, Let's put some rainwater in the bottom. And this is soil and compost. This has black cow in it. Black cow, you mean doo doo? Yep. Uh huh. <laughs> black. It's yeah. really a nice way to say shia. <laughs> yes. Black cow. It is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and, uh, and it has some purchased really good potting soil oh okay, okay. Mm -hmm. and so and th it's a little aquarium kind of thing you just oh. set this in your uh -huh. window yeah be sure that it water is going to be a little bit important help oh, so how do you get the water in there do you pour it on the top or in yeah. the bottom just pour it on top okay it's got a reservoir never so, seen this oh well i'm sure you have now you do the soil then the seeds yes and, and my, so, what are microgreens? Microgreens. Alfalfa sprouts. Mm -hmm. It's like salad. You can use it on a salad. Uh-huh. I mean, your kids might not like it. Elevate your, your meals. And you just went and got the dollar pack of seeds mm -hmm. from the, there's a new store in Windsor yesterday I saw. It's a, it's a dollar general slash dollar tree. Oh, that's awesome. One side is dollar tree, which is now a dollar quarter. Yeah, dollar twenty-five tree, and then one side is the other. Anne doesn't know what she's gotten herself into with Adrian. <laughs> this is true. Water, you know, not wine. No, that's up. just mean. She says, "Buckle up, Buttercup." <laughs> hey, hello from Ohio. That's where all my kin's from. Oh. My mom and dad are from Ohio, and I've got about twenty-two first cousins in Ohio. Yeah, y'all tell Adrian where you're from, so that she can know this woman has traveled all over the world. And I'm gonna try to not get us dirty, so I'm doing the dirty part. And uh, then you're gonna put in rabbit the poop is the best, really. Yeah, rabbit poop is is fabulous fertilizer. Oh. Rabbit poop. How about and... dog poop? No. Oh. <laughs> well, That's I tell all you. I got. Brooke Farmer, one of my friends that are in here, he tells me that what he does as far as manure goes. Oh, Minnesota, New Jersey. Uh-huh. That it, oh good. Thank you. That he's not going to put anything on his plants that he doesn't already eat. Like he doesn't want to put horse poop on his plant. He doesn't eat a horse. Oh, well, no, that's a good way to know. But he would eat a rabbit and he would eat a chicken and he would eat a cow. You know, mm -hmm. those, a sheep, those kinds of things. Deer. Deer. Yeah. You could forage for deer poop. <laughs> the little barrel, berries. They just leave little berries. Now, y'all can hear the geese. Geese? You eat geese, goose poop? No, I do eat geese, but I ain't I ain't that goose for the goose poop. <laughs> Look, goose poop is like sour cream mixed with ashes. It's crazy. And we all, we know all about that. And you could tell our people testify that I, we don't have a dollar tree or, or anything 
we don't have a Dollar Tree. We don't have a Walmart in our little town. No, and we're okay. glad we don't have one. Yeah. We like, a, okay. down, we like a downtown. Yes. Um, but I think people struggle to understand, like, when we are in a, yesterday we went to Rocky Mount, which is where I'm from. It's about an hour and a half from here. And it's maybe 60,000. And whenever we're in Rocky Mount, my children want to go to Target because yeah. Target is like Chuck E. Cheese. I right. mean, you know, you, this is a treat because we have roses. Right. We have roses. And roses has a good garden center. They do. They it do. all comes from Nixon's. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. All it's local stuff. Yep. Yeah. I did not Nixon's. know that. Now I love Halsey's as my favorite. Oh yeah. We go I love there. the people at Halsey's. Right. We go and support Halsey's. But Roses is a good place to go when you, it's kind of a little like Big Lots. You never quite know what's going to be in there. Oh yeah. And if you see it, you better get it. Quick. Because it's not going to be there next week. <laughs> yeah. It is random what they have. You eat what? And I do eat geese, uh, but not these. But I do eat. I she's going to, in a minute here, she's going to get out here and catch us a goose. <laughs> Probably not. With her bare hands. With my bare hands. So y'all stick around. <laughs> my husband opened that roses in 1989. Well, I'll be darn. There wow. might still be some of the stuff in there actually from 1989. Carla, that's so cool. Hey, Joni. Joni Krause Harrell. She was in my wedding. Oh, well, that's nice. Isn't that sweet? Don't Jenny, worry. we'd like you to come on and tell us the other secrets. <laughs> She's got some secrets she can tell us. But that was, the, that was the old, that was the wild days of Ann Bissett when I used, before I was married. I've been married longer than I've been Ann Not Bissett. married? Yeah. <laughs> been married 44 years. So. Oh, oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, that's interesting. So I've been married 20 years, but I got married when I was 27. So once I've been married 28 years, we should, that should have a name. It should have a name. We need to give that a name. Yeah. The mm -hmm. Ann Dale. You've okay. Ann Daled it. You've Ann Dale. Well, <laughs> there are some people out there when they have technical struggles uh -huh. on YouTube, on, on things like that, they go, well, are you going to Ann Dale it? Because what, what, does, what does Ann Dale do? I have woo whammies that happen often. On my technical abilities. How do you spell woo whammy? I, I don't know. It's, you know, it's it's just one of those things. Technical Sound is my nemesis. All right. So here's some micro seeds. You just, what we call, what is it that you call it, bro? I just say you spread it out, but it's uh sprinkle. Yeah. But there's a word for it. Help me out. What is it? Well, the seeds are so small. I'm out. afraid they're going to get lost in my fingers. Yeah, they are teeny tiny and it's okay. I mean, there's a lot of seeds down here in front of us. Okay, of the so, time. so you're going to you just, just do this. Oh, just almost how sure many that, do you want? Well, I mean, not a ton, but about like what you're doing. Huh. You're doing great. You're doing great. And we'll just, uh, oftentimes people won't even have these little cells. They'll just have one big sheet. sheet of Do you dirt. like the shells? I do. Um, shells. Because there's a variety of seeds in there. What, and so you're going to have some tall plants and some short plants. and uh, But all of them are edible. Hmm. So well, gonna... and who knew? So in five days, I can eat this. Well, let's hope. Well, there, I, just there's never, I didn't know that was possible. Because the so. celery, I so I bought a celery plant and it was already started. And I told Ann, the celery never came. Well, it's because she didn't give it time. You know, how when you get, um, you always mix seeds in a little sand, Laura. Well, but when you get a celery plant, the first year, usually it is not thick, good celery that you could put peanut butter on. Well, nobody told me that. <laughs> it's just like straws and sticks and a, a lot of greenery. I started, there you go. I started growing, you did great, by the way. I started growing celery because I wanted the greenery. Yeah. Now, just that I'll unscrews. have a little sip of this, see how it tastes. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> you have one first. <laughs> oh, no. I'll be first after you, it's my not dear. It's brown. It is brown. It's now, rainwater. It came out of a wheelbarrow. So, so. I'm just going to do this. I feel like. It... Yeah, it's probably going to spill. Yeah, don't I want like a. Well, here. Use this for a minute. Just pour a little bit in here and then you can pour, pour it out. Well, that's not going to do me any good. Here. Let me do this then. 
Oh, you're making me nervous. <laughs> well, I'm not going to spill it. Well, I tell you what you can do. Just, you know, do a little thingy thingy and um, just pour it all on there, just like you're doing, which well, is great. This bowl is bothering me. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. There you go. Uh -huh. It's like you need a, you know, one of those things you do with the a pour. water. Uh-uh. The little, like a spout with the little rain things in it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So is that enough water? I think so. Let's check underneath. We're going to have some water dripping out. That's just perfect. And then... Ooh, so tickled with this rain water. Yeah. Now, do you do anything else on there, like some lemon? <laughs> no. <laughs> you just pat the seeds in a little bit. Make sure that all the seeds touch the soil uh -huh. because if there's air, then they won't get rooted as well. So you hey. just... You have to make sure that the seeds are kind of padded in just a little bit. Uh -huh. Now, this feels like it has bark in it. It's got bark and cow doo doo. <laughs> well, it is mixed up, yes, with some some soil like that. Okay. There you go. Great. Can y'all see that? Let me see. There we go. <laughs> well, I didn't finish. Okay. Finish up, girl. Finish up. And then you can put the top on it. And you get to take this home. You can put it in your window seal, and um, then you'll have yourself a salad. Things that you can add to your salad, or a sandwich, or some veggies, or anything like and that. And it's going to be alfalfa sprouts. Well, it's going to be a little bit of everything. Kale. It looks just like that. Oh. Does that sound like a plan? Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> Now, I want to share something else with you because, you know. I'm going to get it away from this fire because I don't want it to burn up. Okay. My plants don't like heat. Your plants don't like heat or wine. So, all right. Y'all aren't ever going to let me forget about this wine. <laughs> no, we're not. Right? Just Brownie. Right. Brownie. Yes. See how creative I am in naming pets. But um, anyway, he was like a little brown, um, just a little brown brownie that you could just chew. He wasn't but about this big when I got him. So and he's got long hair and he's a Dotson. Mm -hmm. Long haired miniature Dotson. Dotson's a, Dotson's be scary. <laughs> you think? <laughs> he's so weedsy. <laughs> but yes, I guess they could. So in homesteading. Homesteading. Our goal is to be self-sufficient, meaning we uh, gather our supplies, we trap rainwater, we grow our own food, we try to make sure you and I both living in the area that we do, we have to be ready for hurricanes and things or a flooding or right. any of those types of things. You didn't have, did your water rise much in Ian? When the recent, came, a little bit, but not like in the house. Right? Okay, good. Yours? Ours did. It came up just just barely over the edge of the shore, though. Nothing. Okay, not to your garden. Mm -mm, okay. Not to the garden, thank goodness. Um, it's never done that. Even in Isabel, it didn't uh, do that. Isabel, it did come up to just past the porch. That was a little freaky. Did you lose some trees? Yeah. Oh, yes. You have a lot of trees. But we lost a, lot a ton. In oh, fact, nice. I have shared with when Isabel came through, um, I love all these trees. You could not see our house in any direction. Really? It was as if the Lord had put an umbrella around our home. Wow. Because these humongous trees fell all the way around it and not on it or through it. Wow. And well, we were in it. So thank goodness yeah. for that. <laughs> anyway, a home remedy uh -huh. that I make and that we forage for is goldenrod okay now I think you told rod, me about this the other day mm -hmm. goldenrod I, and i looked it up and i saved it in my pictures of what goldenrod is good for the medicinal purposes of goldenrod yes and it can reduce mm, my little microphone pain there. and swelling as a diuretic to increase urine flow mm -hmm. okay, is it it's a diuretic it makes you pee. Makes you pee. Oh, you got a little dirt on the end of your nose. But right does it there. make you... Oh, what? okay. It clears your kidneys. And it stops muscle spasms. 
Oh, it's used for gout too. Arthritis mm -hmm. and eczema. And um, it's very important for your respiratory system. It helps uh, fight allergies. Oh, so you just always should have some goldenrod around. Yes. Now, there's several different ways of doing goldenrod. Can you eat goldenrod on its own? Like sprinkle it on your salad? I don't think so. I mean, you can do that with dandelions. I go out in the yard and pick dandelions. Really? And yeah. eat them? Yeah. What do they help with? Well, they taste make yummy. Make your wishes come true. Yeah, they do. They make your wishes come true. You get them before they have they the They taste feathers. yummy. Well, that's what I thought you meant. You don't eat the feathers. That's what I was thinking you were sprinkling. Oh, no, no. You don't eat the feathers. <laughs> Crazy <tail. laughs> You eat the actual yellow flower. Yeah. What? But, but what I do I is I dehydrate I it. And you. use it in tea. Dandelion or this? Goldenrod tea also. But Goldenrod tea. Does it smell? Now, yeah, I have washed it, nice. it. It's been picked several days ago. Oh. I washed mm -hmm. it. I wanted to prepare it for our visit. Mm -hmm. And um, I wanted to make sure that it was something that we could use. But which is better, the leaves or the flower? Well, the leaves are kind of almondy, almond. They taste like an almond a little bit. But what we're going to do is make a tincture. Tink, tink, tincture. <laughs> T-I-N-C-T-U-R-E. Tincture. Tincture. <laughs> and I'd like to pay anybody $5 who knows what a tincture is. Well, actually, no, you people all know. Yes, My people do not know. No, only Adrian's people get the five bucks because my folks know about tinctures. tinctures. I can tell you. Yes. Now, you're going to like this part. Now, do I get to take this time too? Uh, no. That would I, be a no. That would be a no. Uh. I do get to, I will give you some once it's cured. Oh, okay. It takes 90 days. Well, maybe I'd like to cure the tincture. Well, you can. Are you going to turn it over every day? Yes, days? I'm going to. I can be trusted. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Carol says she knows. I don't believe you, Carol. A concentrated health remedy in moonshine. Yes. Is that right? Oh, gosh. She just pulled out the vodka. <laughs> Homesteader my ass. Y'all are in here getting drunk <laughs> in the morning, pretending you're living off the land. It's so funny to see me go into the liquor store buying vodka because I'm not a drinker. I do have a cocktail occasionally or a glass of wine or something like that, but I'm not a drinker. But this is, you just, you can buy cheap. It just needs to make sure that it's 80 proof. She's got a ri aristocrat. <laughs> no, just... I drank a lot of that in college. <laughs> well, you're not exactly going to drink it. Put that, that in a little Mountain Dew and you got a good day. Ahead. There you go. Oh my gracious. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is. Now what's the honey for? The honey, we're going to make goldenrod honey as well. Is that called tincture too? It is. The thing is, the way that my husband uses this tincture and I use this tincture is it only, you only need like two or three drops a day. Oh, of the vodka or the honey? Either. Now, how do you pick which one? Well, it's whatever you feel like doing because the, the vodka is a little bitter when you, what we're going to do is cut up this goldenrod, put it, stuff it in the jar as tight as we can cover it with vodka. I'll put it in a dark place and turn it every day for 90 days. And at the end, you strain it. You strain it out. Mm. And you have, you know, just about this much liquid left. Okay. And when you do that, what we use it for, it is for inflammation to help you go to the bathroom, to help you with your sinuses, um, all those kinds of things. Because the reason why we do this is just because in case the drugstore goes away tomorrow, as much allergy medicine as I take, I need the ability to have some sort of home remedy that I can forage for, you know, that I can get. Of course, I'd have to buy the booze, but <laughs> I would just like to say, I think that the liquor store might go away before the drug store. Yes. Oh, you think? I don't think so. You think the drug store has a, the pharma companies are such big lobbyists. They're not going anywhere. I don't know. Who Anne's going to be ready. 
I'm going to be ready. This is kind of like a doomsday forager. It is sort of, kind of, but not really. Now, what do you put the vodka on? Or you just, the golden rod. No, no, when you when you take it. What The way that my husband, I just dip a spoon in it and lick, lick the it. spoon. Worth, on his last cup of coffee during the day, he will dip a spoon in there and then stir his coffee. Now, can you tell it makes you feel better? He had, it does not, I have, I have gotten relief from my sinuses and allergies. I had chronic allergy uh -huh. infections, chronic sinus infections, right. chronic pneumonia and bronchitis. And um, that has helped with that a ton. Oh, He used to have really sore knees and a sore shoulder, uh -huh. those kinds of things. And um, that has gone away. And well, I'm ready. He's getting older, but his joints are feeling better. Oh. Now, Kate says we should make our own vodka. Well, we should. With potatoes. I guess you can. I'll have to learn. Shot, 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 everybody. That would be good. <laughs> everybody has a shot. Here's some golden rod. Now, please. how do you decide to do it in vodka versus honey? I've never done it in honey. I thought we'd do it in honey together. Yeah, I kind of like honey. Good. Well, I, well, you'll be able to take this because you don't have to drain it. This jar is for you. Oh, do I have to turn it over? Yes. Now, what happens if you didn't turn it over? Well, have you ever done an experiment is, where you had two and one you turned over and one you didn't? I did not. But what what would normally happen is the flower would come to the top, get air, oh. and then the air would cause mold. Oh, we don't want that. So when you turn it over, I'm it gonna keeps leave that everything. with you then because I don't want any moldy. <laughs> In case I forget, I can't even remember to brush people's teeth. <laughs> I do have something for you to take home, though. Oh, that is brush. another tincture. No, it's lots not of tinctures. Brush. Yes, I gotta all take right. this stuff. This is stressing me out. I gotta do all this stuff. I got grow greens and <laughs> just, I got tincture. Just shove some golden rod in there if you need to cut it. Now, where did you find this golden rod? I found it actually. We went back in an off road area, so we knew that it wasn't sprayed. Oh, because sometimes it's hard to do that when it's sprayed. Uh huh. And so you stole it, basically. <laughs> yes, if you want to put it that way. She's the thief. Now, do you put it in upside down? Either way. Oh, okay. However, well, I'm going to do a little just mix. Shove it right in there. Up, down, all around. Just get it shoved right in there, mm -hmm. and we'll get it as full as we can. Full as we can. And uh, then we'll pour our expensive vodka on there hey triple threat i'm glad to see you honey chicken big mountain grace and fire good morning and sheppy sheppy's a winner sheppy i have not mailed out your calendar yet honey she lives in canada sheppy won a calendar these y'all got good names i'd like the tales people to come up with some good names yeah well facebook is normally your regular name i know that's no fun and then but youtube you know we're funky over here. And y'all have lots of, you have lots of pages on the video. That's kind of fun. Yes. See, I don't have that, I don't think. Yes, yes. Lots and lots of other creators. Other yeah, video that's creators. Nice. Well, I do have, I did see Rachel Flanagan. Adrian's knowledge base is going to run over by the time this live ends. I mean, <laughs> this is too much for me. Oh, no, it's crazy. <laughs> I'd have an allergy attack if I was touching and smelling that stuff. It's not. Right, Rachel? Me too. No, no. It's not the goldenrod. It You're not allergic the, to goldenrod. It's the ragweed that looks like goldenrod. Oh, that's what I think I saw. What mm -hmm. if I went out and collected a bunch of ragweed? Okay. No, I think you're you're close. No, I'm not done. Okay. Um, because we had another jar, but if you're, you know, that's great. Well, I'm, you know, you so said no, it's full honestly, as the, yes, as full as possible. The goldenrod, the pollen stays in the flower. It doesn't fly out or do anything unusual. It stays in the flower. So it's not the goldenrod that we're allergic to. Actually, the goldenrod helps. Kathleen Ann, I made vanilla and I've had it a year and a half. Vanillas are fun. I'm missing the bathrobe and the glasses. Oh, they want you. I was wondering if Adrian would come in her pajamas. Well, I put my clothes on. I did think about it, but I was afraid Amos was foul. Because oh. it's cloudy and, you know, Wednesday. He didn't want to go to school. Don't it's, stick those up your fingernails, please. Those sticks that are sticking up. I just don't want you to hurt yourself. 
<laughs> and I thought I'd have to get out of the car. And yes. Okay. I hate to get out of the car in my pajamas when there are all these teachers at school getting ready to start their day. And I just look like I'm going home to right. go back to bed. Yeah. And you can cut it if you want to. I don't, I don't want to cut it. I'm just, okay. It's up to you. You're doing an absolutely outstanding job, by the way. I'm stuffing a jar. I'm good at these things. <laughs> now this isn't like cooking. Well, you should go over and watch Adrian uh, in her cooking adventures. Now, I'm going to um, cook dinner tonight for my wedding anniversary. You are? Mm -hmm. I got some ribs from the food line. All right. I think they're Our already cooked. The you just store. put them in the, in the oven. Oh, <laughs> I was thinking you were going to grill ribs. That's a that's a that would be job. good. Yeah, that no. would be good. All right. So how was your dinner when you went out for your pre Oh, it was so good. We went out. So my husband thought our anniversary was Sunday, but it was I today. I played a little snippet of that. But that was kind of fun, actually, because then it took the pressure off, you know. Oh, yeah. So we went to this restaurant called The Table in Edenton, which I had only been to once years ago because it used to be like $100 a person. Right. Well, it's not like that anymore. Okay. And that's the little place behind what used to be Lord Proprietors? Yes. So okay. you can get, for $14, five big slices of fried green tomato with goat cheese spread. Oh, okay. It was so good. And the oh, same good. price is going to anywhere else in town, Bistro right. or Waterman's. Right. And the food was awesome. So anyway, it was really fun. We sat outside, which is nice. Oh, good. I like to sit outside. Um, well, I'll have to try that out because you're right. It was, you know, a hundred dollars a plate. Yeah, I it was just a, about ready. It's not done. It's still okay, okay, ready. okay, okay. And it's ready to get in the vodka. <laughs> the plot thickens. I just want to make sure I have homestead. Yeah, homestead. Well, you, the well, more the more I fun. put in here, the less juice you need. Right. Oh, you mean you're afraid if I put in too much, you won't have enough juice? I won't have any juice. Well, no, you shouldn't have said fill it up as much as you can. That's okay. You didn't you did know great. I was a good filler. You are. Okay, I'll stop. You follow directions absolutely beautifully. I do. Thank you. You do. All right. So let's put the first, we'll finish off the first bottle. That was, <laughs> that was from. The stuff will grow hair on your that chest. That was from last year, making the tincture. Last year? Well, Is it yeah. still good? Yeah. It's alcohol. But the only reason why is because goldenrod only blooms once a year in the fall. Really? Oh, so, so you, you got to have your tincture ready. Yeah, you have to get well, it while you know, can get it. that's good to know. Because I would have been looking for my tincture. <laughs> that's a funny word, isn't it? This is exactly what I needed this morning. Oh, oh. Leanne. So Leanne's mother is my my nurse because you know i get ibig once a month vodka never goes bad paul Holly, honeymoon at paul honeymoon paul is across the pond. and you keep it cold is it important that it be cold vodka no we just don't have any other place to put it so we put it in the outside refrigerator oh well you could put it in the closet my closets are pretty full <laughs> <laughs> so ann adrian is going to help ann do clean out that would be awesome except for you know and doesn't like to do clean out. No. <laughs> and, we, and, and we think we might maybe have to use something sometime. Oh, you're one of those. Yeah. Well, you know, well, and I had like a hoarder. hoarder. <laughs> I don't keep dog poo, okay? I don't keep the dog poo. She keeps cow poo. I do keep cow poo. <laughs> no you can poo. tell tell them about your apartment or your condo. No, I had a na nice woman who also happened to be a hoarder. And it will make you go home and clean out some stuff. Yeah, she lived there for how many years? 20. 20 years. And she passed away. Mm -hmm. And um, now Adrian you... had not been in the condo. And so, because she owns it, hey, new beginning. My everyday and life now over here, you've got a lot of apple cider. What's all that for? That's not apple cider. That's homemade barbecue sauce. Homemade barbecue sauce? Mm -hmm. Oh, I love barbecue sauce. Oh, you do? Do you like vinegar-based barbecue Yes. Well, you'll have to go home next time. I mean, this is, I'm coming out here every day. <laughs> okay, there, there. Okay, that's awesome. Let's put the top on here. Where's the top to the jar? jar. Oh, here it is. <laughs> so that's, we'll save this for the for next, next year. Next year. Now, I'm going to screw it on. Do I uh -huh, shake it? Uh-huh. 
You shake it. <laughs> you shake it. You turn it upside down and all around. You need to take this to the paint store and get them to put it in that shaker. Yeah, well, you know, you know, when you do this it. every day for 90 days, it gets pretty shaken. You do it every day, 90 days. Shake it, not just flip it upside down. Well, I, you know, you just give it a little twisty twist and then turn it upside down and then you'll turn it back again because you're going to eventually be shaking the air out of it. Oh, that's what you're shaking? Oh, that's Bobby Joe. You know Bobby Joe Owens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's calling about insurance. You need Which that. We have. We're switching some. Yeah, we oh, do need that. Okay. Now All right. right. It looks great. That's perfect. And so what we'll do now is I'm going to put it in a dark room. Dark room. And tomorrow I will come and turn it and leave it. Should we day. walk him inside and find a dark room? No. <laughs> I ain't doing that. <laughs> I think that would be a wonderful idea. Don't y'all want to go in? No. My people love a house tour. We're, well, they're going to have to wait. <laughs> because I know. Look, no. I, I knew she was coming, so I, even though she thinks that it looks I have good a around lot, here. I stuck a ton of things in another room and closed the door. Oh, you did? Oh, I'm going to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm, I'm gonna, oh my gosh. I'm fine with it. Now, what are we going to do with that? Well, it, if you would like, we can continue with a honey tincture. Honey tincture. Honey yes. tincture. Okay. All right. Whew. I know it's a lot of work being a homesteader, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. All right. So we'll do the same thing. Yes. Okay. Now, do you make your own honey? I do not. I don't have bees. We considered getting bees. Uh huh. Um, Jean has bees. We want to support Jean. Yes. I got that from the local farmer's market. Uh -huh. Jean in Windsor. Okay. And it's in Windsor. And then we have, so you do the same thing and just put it right in there. Mostly this time we'll get mostly the flowers. So you'll have to cut it. Oh, you want flowers? Yeah. I mean, mostly flowers. The leaves are fine, but let's do, I've got a couple. Does it matter for the vodka? Here. It does not. Oh, okay. Flowers. And uh, yeah. Now this is, you would take a little spoon, maybe. Just a spoon, and put it in your, it tea, in your tea or your, maybe uh, your coffee. Coffee, whatever you feel like at the time. Okay. And I do, we did have some goldenrod in the backyard, which will come back again. Uh -huh. But I sprayed some weed killer on the ditch bank. And so I was worried. I didn't want to use oh. it. Um, I didn't want to use the goldenrod. Honey tincture or vodka tincture, tough decision. I know. Yeah. It is tricky. Meg's little house in the country. Bless your heart, Meg. She works. And so she isn't usually able to catch a lot. And she wrote me last night and said, I work. I want to someday be. Now, do you ever do the lives at nighttime? Well, you know, I can. You have to. I can do that on Facebook. Um, uh -huh. YouTube is really full at night. Oh. My friends go live every night. Every night y'all are going live. two or three friends that are maybe five or six oh. that are live at the same time. And it's hard really? to catch everybody. Um, um, so I don't, you know, I, I feel weird. It would be like if you and Kate were competing at the same time. Well, we might be and we might just not know it. Okay. All right. So that's good on that one. Oh, so we don't fill this all the way up. Don't fill that all the way up. And now I haven't opened that jar of honey yet. You want me to? Yes, please. I just didn't know how hard it'd be to get the air off of it. <laughs> Do you need an opener? <gasps> Look at you. Got. She's strong. I love honey. Me too. The only thing I don't like about honey is trying to figure out how to get it off the darn spoon. Ooh, yeah. it's so satisfying. It is satisfying. It's like glue. And we got, we got quiet all at the same time, didn't we? Yeah. Hey, Sandy from Suburban Homestead of Wyoming, Arizona. Sandy is precious. She's in Wyoming right now, but she spends her winters in Arizona. That woman can do everything. People love Arizona. She's my hero. And she just does, she gardens, she has chickens, she can cook, she can paint. She teaches. She's just an amazing human. We She's need you to come age. visit us. We okay. do need you now, to come. Now, we got to wait for the honey to get down yes. in there. 
Yes. Okay. Good job. You did. I'm not done. Okay. Are we going to put more honey in there? Well, you can put the lid on and try oh, to, well. you know, shake it back and forth and then potentially have an air bubble or Whoa. something come out. Mm, hopefully. Yes, it is. It's really good, honey. It's, well, it's really, got on the side. Really yummy. Yeah. I don't know. She's going to lick it. Mm -hmm. You could put that on your homemade cinnamon rolls. <laughs> Look, now, I did add some cinnamon sugar on the top of the canned cinnamon rolls. She did. I was like, these almost seem homemade, but I recognize <laughs> the shape. I, I am the master of the can. Yes. <laughs> I love the sound of a crack <laughs> of a can of cinnamon rolls. Oh, my gracious. Now, for Christmas at my house, we have something special. We crack open a can of crescent rolls. Crescent rolls. And then we do cinnamon, sugar, nuts, and make Christmas cake. Oh, yum. Oh, it's real good. And it's basically homemade. I mean, sort of. Okay, so you know cooks and chefs and things like that. I do. I have I know them. signed myself up for a Noodle November challenge. So by November, I need to learn how to make seafood ravioli homemade and with like a lobster sauce. Now, Lisa from Chiro's can teach me the lobster sauce. Well, I don't know how to, don't, don't, don't ask me. <laughs> I don't understand how ravioli even works. How do you get the stuff in there? Well, I did see you have like a line of noodles. You put little spoonfuls and you put a second thing of noodle on top and you use a you cutter. It? No, you boil it, I think. I don't know. What do y'all think? Oh, my gracious, we have Super Chat from Jeff Boyardee is your friend. <laughs> Look, Dig and Proud says you must bring Adrian Did back Dig and Proud just give you $20? She did. What? <laughs> Dig and for help. Come over. <laughs> Come over. To Facebook. Nobody can give me $20. They this can? is awesome. Yeah, she did. She said this is the best live stream Dig and for help wants to get in there. She wants yeah. to get inside and see what's happening in there, in the homesteaders. <laughs> yes. We just like making an Boil nuts. it. Look, they say, yeah, I am making me know. <laughs> after a while, does in. the golden rod come out or I'll leave it in? The golden rod comes out oh, it does alcohol tincture, but what it does it? not come out of the honey. It's staying in the honey. Well, that's and good you for will me see, and yeah, you can take it just like this. And you will see a lot of money with all this stuff I'm taking home. In a year's time, yeah. um, the flowers will look exactly the same. They will still be like yellow. Like McDonald's cheeseburgers. It's like McDonald's food. <laughs> the honey will preserve it. So there, those are prizes. Mm -hmm. Good. So I have... Uh, now what else you got over there? You got some tomato I do, sauce. I have some... There was a recommendation you from my teacher. Daughter. Thank you. There's a recommendation from my daughter. Boy. She said, oh, mama, if Miss Adrian is coming to your house... You have to give her some of your tomato juice. Now, this is my homemade tomato juice. Now, my neighbor growing up, Gina Forbes, who is a subscriber on my page, her mother, Connie Forbes, made homemade ketchup. Yeah. It was I, terrible. Oh, no. <laughs> it was like spaghetti sauce that you called ketchup. Oh, yeah. No, that's awful. I haven't, because I haven't mastered the ketchup yet. You can't. Heinz ketchup is ketchup. <laughs> homemade ketchup. It's like Jif versus homemade peanut butter, which yes. I love homemade peanut butter, but it ain't Jif. Right. Like you got to kind of, it's two different specimens. It is. It is. It's like the store brand and the name brand. Okay. Now so where this is, is the tomato top? juice? I'm, I'm going to give you I'm a ring. About this. Yeah. I'm going to give you a ring to take home. This is homemade tomato juice. It is. And it makes very good Bloody Mary. Ooh. And now Sarah says the instructions are tomato juice, vodka, you, old bay, and a celery stick that you kill. Now, what if you made homemade Bloody Mary juice and you went ahead and did all this stuff in it? Huh. Just blown answers. <laughs> I just, 
Well, see, I don't normally think in the realm of alcohol drinks. Well, well I don't I, either, but I like, you know, you just said. Hey, if, you could. If the world goes to pot. Yes, you could. You could. And I'm sitting with this thinking I'm never going to have a Bloody Mary again, but then it's ready. There you go. It's ready. It's ready to go. So there's that. This is exciting. <laughs> now, do you just drink tomato juice by itself? I do. Mm -hmm. I love it. Like for breakfast? Yes. It's like V8 juice or tomato juice or whatever. My dad was a big tomato juice drinker. Mm -hmm. I've never drank it. Really? Never had one sip. Well, you talk to the people a second. And now I'm going to go get a different. Cut. Adrian's an alcoholic. <laughs> now, am I allowed to give him the finger? No. no. <laughs> Paul, yeah. honey yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, I am it. not an alcoholic. Whatever you In want. fact, my friend Mary Scott always says, you know, your people think you drink a lot because it's fun to talk about. But I actually, I don't even drink every month because I have a small person with autism. And if you want to try to wrangle him at night and juggle a glass of wine, it's impossible. Now, if I'm at someone's house, like this morning, if Ann had said, do you want a Bloody Mary? I probably would have said yes. But I don't like make one in my own house. Just like if you got me locked in some sort of place and said, let's go for a walk, I would go. But then I don't necessarily exercise because I'm lazy. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you, Pamela. I talk about drinking more than I actually drink. Yes, so that's the truth. There's this group, responsibility.org, and I'd like to be with them. And one person said, well, you're going to have to stop talking about alcohol <laughs> if you'd like to like do a, a contract with them. I was like, okay, well, I'll try, but I'm just so used to it. I do love a Bloody Mary, especially on Thanksgiving. Yes, 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 yes. I have autism, and I avoid alcohol. Well, that's probably smart. That's I'm, probably very smart. I'm an alcoholic, and I don't talk about it as much as you do, Adrian. So. Yeah. Well, that's okay. She, you know, you've always heard those that talk about it don't do it so much. Yeah. Kind I of need thing. to start talking about drugs too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How so about this fentanyl is... in the Lego box? Did you see that this morning? They found a Lego container filled with fentanyl, enough in New York City to kill five hundred thousand people. Oh my gracious. But people think they're equating this to Halloween. No one, I, I, no, never say never. I don't think people are going to try to put fentanyl in your children's Halloween buckets because the point of the fentanyl is to make money. They're not giving it away. But they want them to become addicted to it. So you're, I think you're safe. But you do have to be very careful. Did you know that if someone has been messing with fentanyl and then they go to the grocery store and they have some on their hands they touch a grocery cart, and you put your hands on the grocery cart. If you're, um, what is that? No, is this true? Yes, is it this is true. Old wives tale? No, no. If you are one that is vulnerable, that's the word I'm trying to search. Vulnerable. If you're vulnerable to the effects of fentanyl, just by putting your hands on there, where someone else has had fentanyl on there, you, it can kill you. Just that much. It's just that it's that itty bitty little gray. I'm gonna look into that's this. too much. Yeah, oh, she will. Now what right. are you doing now? I'm gonna give you a sample of homemade tomato juice. You don't have to drink it. You can just take a sip of it. Well, that's the same thing. Well, I mean, you do want to take a sip. Do you hate it? Do you hate tomato juice? I don't hate it with vodka in it. <laughs> well, you don't want aristocrat. Do you not like it? I don't know. I've never had it. Well, taste it. Pressure me. <laughs> you pressured me, so. <laughs> oh, I hadn't pressured you yet. Oh. <laughs> we're going in there. No, we're not. Hey, that's real good. Isn't that yummy? Ooh. Oh. Ooh. It tastes like cold tomato soup. Yeah. Is that what it's supposed to taste like? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. It has a little bit of salt. And it has a little bit Ooh, of good. lemon juice. You don't even need vodka. No, you don't. You could put celery in this. Do you ever put celery in Old Bay and bacon and just pretend it's a Bloody Mary? <laughs> no. <laughs> don't do it with the ring. If I were a pubbing alcoholic, this is what I would drink. I wish there was a fake cigarette. Yeah, me too. Do you like to smoke? I used to for decades. Ooh, Ann and I could sit out here and smoke. Mm. I mean, hours. even now, I, I really struggle. I really struggle. Yeah. 
Oh, it's a daily struggle. I love a cigarette. When's the last so time you smoked smoke it? It's well, it's it's been a long time, but oh, yeah. I did for <laughs> but I did for years. years. How many? How long has it been since you've had a cigarette? Well, now, ding, 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 <laughs> ding, 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 at a party ding, ding, or something. Ding, ding. I may have had more. I may have had one out in the backwoods or something. Recently. Probably in the last year. Six months. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, the plot thickens. Yes. But only, Mine I, mean, has been I don't since count like February. That. Well, see, you're not an addict. Right. So this is, I do when people are addicted to, I cannot smoke one cigarette. If I smoke a cigarette, I am, I mean, it's like an alcoholic, I guess, right. if they have a drink, which is so annoying because. It is annoying. Like, well, I can. I mean, it's not. Well, then you're it's not. It's terrible, that's, terrible, terrible. No. Oh, if I could smoke one cigarette, I would do it like every time I went to a wedding or a party. Oh, yeah. it'd be so fun. No, I can't. Well, you don't have to drink all of that, which you didn't want me to have. You're, it you're welcome to have all of it. You're welcome to have all the whole thing, but I don't want you to, if you don't care it's for so tomato good. juice. Good. No, it's good. I did not say I didn't care. I never had it. I was a little nervous. Okay, good. Good, good. All right. Well, let me put this away over here with your goodies of your prizes to take home. Don't and forget then, my honey. Now, this honey, am I going to need to be flipping this every day? Yeah, you need to flip it. It all the time. You need to flip it occasionally. Oh, it's then, not all that space. We might need to fill that space. Oh, out. well, that's what I was trying to read. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going, now, how much I'm of this did you, you make? I, underneath one of our beds is totally covered with jars of canned tomato products. Let's do no, we are, we are not doing that. We are not having a home tour. Now, the, what's, see, I have a lot of storage space in my house. Oh, uh, I do not. So you, we could do this like where we store it at Adrian's. Oh, you're talking about food and goods? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have a whole garage. Probably not. <laughs> You'll have to come to my house for no. that. No, mm -hmm. not the food. I <laughs> need to start. How do you make tomato juice? Well, I, um, I cook the tomatoes. You boil them, boil skin tomato. them, um, and I also preserve the skins. You dehydrate the skins and make tomato powder, which is awesome. Um, and then afterward, leftover is there's all this juice in the pan when you have canned stewed tomatoes. Uh -huh. And so I'll strain all the, the seeds out of that. Well, see, I was sure noticing you didn't have any seeds, but do you not want seeds in tomato juice? I don't like it. Maybe that makes it more like that ketchup I was talking about. Maybe it does. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like, I don't, I just personally, it's a texture thing. I don't care for it. Yeah. I, I prefer for it to be clean and, and, uh, and then you put it in a, you put it in the jar. How do you get the lid sealed? For tomatoes, you can uh, water bath or steam can. I have a steam can that is so easy. You could do it. It's so easy. <laughs> You just make sure that the rims are clear. You put on your can and lid, and you put it in a little steamer that's about this deep. Put the lid on it. It has a gauge that tells you how hot it needs to be. Uh -huh. Read your canning book of how long to can them. Mm -hmm. And then uh, once it gets up to temperature, you start the timer. Well, just from now on, whenever you're going to do something like this, I, I want to come over and do mine, too. Okay. We can do that. Mm -hmm. I need help. Have to go. That's because we've been on here for two This hours. was for, I know, we have been on here forever. It's too long. They say yeah. never to do it long. Yeah. yeah. It's, I just have one yeah. more thing that I want to share with you. And don't, you know, I don't want you to taste this, but you can smell it. This is an elixir that I have made. And yeah. And it's made out of. It's called an elixir. Yes. It's called garlic and red onion. Holy shit. Yeah. Turmeric. You know what? It tastes, it might be a good salad dressing. Hmm. I can't taste it. Yeah, you can taste it. Um, it has turmeric and cumin. Mm, honey. It does have honey. Well, Absolutely. Good. It's covered. All those veggies are soaked in honey. And then you shake it up and you take out the onion and the garlic 
and um, you keep it. But what this has helped me, whenever I have a cough or I feel bad or my nose is stuffy, I take a spoonful of that and it And I get to take this one too? Yes. Oh, look at you. This is like a store. You're racking up. And Dale's Homestead Shop. Hey, Jackie. Jackie Harrell's from here at Asian Sense. Oh, I knew a Harrell. Yeah, I went to school with her. You did? Mm -hmm. And Sarah reads, turmeric cumin is a great medicine. It is. And this is, it's red onion, garlic, turmeric. I have a video about it. Um, turmeric, you need that recipe, Kate? Mm -hmm. Turmeric and cumin. And you cover it with honey, let it set for 24 hours, and the garlic and the onion put juice in there, and so it gets kind of watery like that. Oh. And then you strain it, and you have this left. I'm going to so. show you what I'm looking at from over here. Hold on. Uh-oh. I don't know what she sees. She got in here. Aha! <laughs> I'm not showing it. <laughs> She's got beer and pickles. Yes. What's going on with all these pickle jars? My husband likes hot pickles. But does he just keep the jars and you use them to can? No, I do not use pickle jars to can. What's he keep the empty jar for? Uh, because he doesn't clean out the refrigerator. That is his territory right there. Pickles. Uh-oh. <laughs> and Corona. <laughs> now, this is what I want to talk about. Yes. Yep. It's dusty. It's been sitting out here on the porch. So this is Worthdale's homemade vinegar that he, I mean vinegar, barbecue sauce. Now, how do you make this? I don't know. He makes it outside. He cooks it and brews it. It's like a, a brew. I don't get this because it's Worth's. Well, you do right. get some of it, but um, I'll, I'll get you a I could go a home food. and make real ribs and use that. Yes, you could. You want to open it and smell it? Mm. It's got lots of pepper in it. Well, Shake like it up. Works. Shake it up good. And here's a, <laughs> it's just a lot of shaking going on today. <laughs> I mean, this is amazing. I would never get anything done. <laughs> I'd just be well, sitting around thinking exercise. what I'm going to eat. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does focus around eating, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Homesteading is really I'm focusing studying. about eating. You just sit around and think about what you're going to cook and yeah. drink. <laughs> And you don't get sick because you can't ever go anywhere. So you think all the stuff's helping you. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's true. Because you're too busy. You're too busy. <laughs> Ooh, this yeah. smells good. Holy cropoly. It does smell good, doesn't it? No, it's that's probably good to take a little sip of this. Probably would kill Now, when does Worth cook this? He cooks it every year in the fall. Well, he's got plenty from last fall. Yes. He cooks it every year in the fall. Well, this last year for Thanksgiving, those are Christmas presents. That's what we give everybody in our family for Christmas is a jug of, a jug of barbecue sauce. Oh, what a good present. And um, this year, Worth and I had COVID. Oh. So I couldn't go anywhere. And then everybody Oh, for else, Thanksgiving, you mm -hmm, couldn't go. Mm -hmm. So they didn't get any. Mm -mm. That's when my family meets is Thanksgiving. Now, what Adrian might do, Adrian could buy it from Worth, and then she could put it in jars like this and give it as her presents. That would be true. Worth Dale sauce. Barbecue sauce. And Dale homesteading sauce. <laughs> I do have a fella on here from Nine Acre Farms. It, ironically, his first name is Dale. Oh, Dale and, Dale. Yeah, and uh, he's from out towards Oklahoma Way in Kentucky, and he said... Mm. Vinegar has no business being anywhere around barbecue sauce. What? Is he crazy? I told him we can't be friends anymore. Yeah, that's a done deal. <laughs> He's insane. He is. It's only tomato-based and, and, you know, saucy, not vinegar. But, but vinegar is the best. Absolutely. I mean, that's not even... <laughs> well, I'm out of all my tricks right now. And we have been here... For over an hour. Over an hour. On the stream yard. I'm so glad y'all have been here to meet my friend. Now say again the name of your channel. My channel. Yeah. Also known as Tales of an Educated Debutante. Yes. It's in the title of this visit. And I'm on Facebook. I don't have YouTube. Yeah. She's just on Facebook right now. 
But if y'all will smash that like button for us. And it looks like there's about um, a little over 200 people here. Smash a like button. What's that mean? Look at it. Well, there's likes on the. Look, oh. Blacks Tropical says oh. she gave us $10. She Thank said, you, Blacks. Thanks to well, our beautiful awesome. soil sister for blessing us. With I won't awesome demand money. half since I'm getting all these stuff to take. <laughs> yeah, you get a little more than that. <laughs> yes, that's Cherie and Bobby. Cherie and Bobby, my soil family. Then uh, they're wonderful, and I love them. And Lazy Days Ahead, and special guest, see Jesse from Lazy Days. Oh, he put your link to your Facebook. Thank you, Jesse. So I have a, I have Facebook has subscribers, but you have to pay five dollars a month. It's like YouTube members. Yeah, and mm -hmm. you might think, what the hell do I get? We do videos like this. That's right. And you get well, my family, which is not really fun, entertaining, but more like if you feel like your life is bad, you come to my house and you're like, well, look, I have it. It's my wonder. Life is wonderful. Because <laughs> these people are, are cuckoo. It's like, at least it's not that bad. At least bad. it's not in my house. <laughs> I woke up this morning with a cat, a dog, a child, and a husband. And I was literally was like, I wish somebody could take my picture. I, I was sleeping in seven inches of space. I was like, this is like being in hell. <laughs> That's what mamas do. <laughs> okay, I'm like moving out. <laughs> All right. Don't forget that on Mondays, what are we going to do? We're going to meet at the coffee shop. We're going on your page though? Yeah, we're going to be on my page, my subscriber page on Monday. We're going to probably have to go on the big page. See, then you're doing all this video all the time. It's exhausting. But we're, this is, we're doing a subscriber Monday morning. We kind of get everybody sort of started our week off well. Or right. it did mine. It did. Mine too. Mm -hmm. We'll meet at the coffee shop yeah. on Tales of And likes to get up bright and early. <laughs> she lies. I mean, <laughs> y'all will get used to her lying. <laughs> oh, wait, before they go. I hadn't smoked in years. Tell me yesterday. <laughs> tell me about the cruise that's coming up. So I have a Tales cruise going. Anne's thinking about going. Yeah. She's going to have to pack up her tomato juice. I will. And it is January 23rd through the 27th. So last year I had subscribers come. I had 150 subscribers came to Edenton for the weekend. Yes. We had big time. It was the garden tour weekend. Yes. How and we're going to do that again next year. That's not okay. an every year thing and every other year thing. And this year we're just going to go on a little cruise. And I have about 40 people signed up, which isn't a ton, but it's in January. Right. And. I don't know why I did that. I just, something about a year away seemed. Yes. I mean, who knows where I could be in a year. Right. Might be living in Australia. You never you know. know. So it's in January and it's from like, I don't know, $600 starts at $600 a person. It's four nights. Okay. So um, it's fleets from Miami. Uh -huh. Well, I talked to my daughter, Sarah, that suggested the Bloody Marys to uh -huh. you. And she said, mama. I think I would like to come with you. <gasps> Wouldn't that be fun? Yes. She might treat me to it. So we'll see. Well, that's getting better every second. <laughs> How did you two meet? Well, we live in the same town, but when Ann reached out to me the other day and said, well, you were having trouble going live on I, Facebook. I wanted to know the backside of Facebook. I, I am confused on reels and stories and try to go in live. I tried going live and it was taking me like an hour and a half. You showed me the one. I don't know what you could have been doing. I was doing it from the studios. From oh, the that is studio. awful. I can't do it from there either. Okay, thank you. <laughs> because it starts asking you so many questions. Yes. And you, do you want to do. do a test live and this? And, and I just give up. I do everything from my phone. Lives, writing. I mean, I have a computer, but it's like my mom's old one from 10 years ago. Okay. So it's not. You have a nice new computer. I, I do have I a nice. Have it is that. That's a nice. That I'm was going a on gift. a cruise. Yes. You <laughs> well, Adrian, <laughs> tell your people and my people. Soon. Thank you all for coming. And we'll see you um, on Monday over on Adrian's page. Yes. Thank you. Everyone. Goodbye. I appreciate you. I love you all. We'll talk to you soon. Hope to see you. Bye.